today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this crazy zoom transition. It's just something that can really help build momentum in an edit or a music video uh, and is really good to use especially before like a beat drop just to build that extra momentum into the actual drop. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what to do here. We're in After Effects. I just have some footage from the Net Spend Lyrical Lemonade video. What I did here is I got five, I just got a handful of different scenes. That's what all these different chopped layers are. I made them five um, frames each. And they're all just different clips. And if you go ahead and play it through, like it's, it's cool as it is, you know what I mean? It's just like some quick choppy frames but we're gonna go ahead and try and like liven it up a bit more so say that there's a beat drop right here we're gonna go ahead into this frame we're gonna keyframe our position and our uh, scale we're gonna come to the end do whatever we think looks good maybe something like that So for the sake of the video, um, I do have these clips scaled up a bit because I am in a different uh, resolution. So my number is starting off at 314, but yours I'm assuming will be at 100. So just kind of go from there, but you're going to just do the same. Um, you're going to zoom in the same amount for each of these clips. So go ahead and say we want to do something like, let's do a count of 40 increase on each of the scales for each of the clips so for this one we're going to come to our last frame that we can see go ahead and put um go ahead and add 40 so for me that's going to be 354 for you i'm assuming 140 kind of get it wherever we want it to be i think that looks good drag this to the end where you can't see it so that it's a fluent motion and already right here, I want it to be straight on, so I will see that. That's fine. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and put then the motion blur on for that clip. So now you'll see more. It's just blurred. It's just clean. Right there, without it. And with it, you can either just copy and paste um, your attributes, or you can just go ahead and do each one um, the same exact way just go ahead and for me I'm adding 40 so 354 there. okay then just go ahead and do that for every clip like I said you can copy and paste um, like go to show you I can just do this Control C to copy and then Control V to paste and then already right here I didn't drag it pass to the end so I'm gonna go ahead and do that again and so then now that we fix that I'm gonna go ahead and just copy that paste that and make sure you go to the starting of your clip when you're pasting these because it's gonna paste it from the beginning keyframe so the first keyframe that's where it's gonna be pasting this from so I go to the beginning of my clip control V and you can see it's rendering so I know it pasted it um, go ahead Turn your motion blurs on. Boom, right there. It just adds a little bit more energy to those zooms instead of it just being a uh, standard flicker still frames. It just adds a little bit more. And then what you can go do to make it even a little bit more cleaner, go ahead and add an adjustment layer. And what I did is I just right clicked, go to new, adjustment, adjustment layer. We're gonna come right here, make it the size of our zoom. And then we'll go and add optical compensation. This comes with um, Adobe, so there's no plugins needed. And yeah, so go here to hit, hit inverse. Um, if you don't, it's just gonna look like a little TV. And this is kind of cool if you're going for like any like a different style, you know what I mean? Keep this in mind if you want like a sort of a TV effect. Um, but we don't for this, so we're going to inverse it, um, reverse lens distortion, and then we're just going to drag it so it's kind of pulling the edges so it kind of looks like we're going to be zooming more. Um, now let's take a uh, look at this. So, already, 
you can see it's a subtle difference. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Turn it on. So you can see it's just pulling the edges and we can even do something maybe a little bit more dramatic. Like this is very subtle, but if we want something like that, maybe like a little bit just like trippier or warpier. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's clean. It's just pulling the edges a bit. We'll turn it off. Back on. So yeah, a little something like that. Um, what you can even do too, if you guys do have um, sapphire, you can go ahead and use that sapphire flicker. Again, I'm trying to keep options for people that don't have plugins, so I'm trying to keep these without um, plugins used, but, and I'll show both ways. So for this, you know, it doesn't need to be too critical. You can just put something, um, the amplitude up a bit maybe. Just to exaggerate it, and this video already has a lot of flashing in it, just the scenes are naturally flashy, but this just already adds in like so much. So we can even turn the flickering up. I think we should turn the flickering up. Maybe something a little bit more intense, so we get a lot more harsher um, flickers. And then the random frequency, this will adjust the speed of things. Let's go ahead and bring this to something like 60. Uh, so 60, 60 will be pretty quick, but still visible to the eye. Let's see. So yeah, it's, it's a lot harsher. It's a lot more edgier, I guess you could say. That's without it, as with it. For the people that don't have Sapphire, what we can do here is we can go ahead and add an, uh, a Lumetri color. And I know there's other ways that you can do this too, um, but this is just a quick way that I can show you guys. So, go here to Tone. Um, we'll do those three. Maybe we'll come up a bit, bring the contrast down a little bit. A nice little flicker look. Bring that back down to zero. Bring that down to zero. Then we'll get something. And we'll just switch it up a bit, you know what I mean? Like just, it doesn't have, unless you want it to be uniform, you can have it be uniform. Um, and again, I'm just being picky with what I kind of want it to look like. So I'm just doing the brightness and the contrast. But again, you can do it different. You can do, um, the saturation even, you know what I mean? Like make the saturation flicker, like just get creative with it. It doesn't have to just be, um, you know, standard, I guess. I don't know. And this can even, you know, jump up so we can go from quick low to quick bright or something. Um, and then we'll just copy and paste these keyframes that we chose, or that we did. And then I'm just gonna paste them again. So now we're back at zero. And then boom. So this is if you don't have the, um, you know, flicker, you can go ahead and do that. That's super simple, you know what I mean? Just make some, a few keyframes, boom, 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 and then, you know, watch this. And then if you wanna add those same flashes in a different spot, duplicate this again with Control D, bring it to wherever you want it, I think, could be cool here. Yeah, this could be fire. Yeah, that's that was fired. We didn't even mean for that to be fire. Just added on there. Um, but yeah, again, the, uh, super simple. But yeah, I do appreciate you guys tuning in. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it and leave a comment. And let me know if there's any other uh, effects that you guys would like to see. I have been putting these tutorials off for some time. I have been wanting to. Um, do these more. So again, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Peace, peace.